We're working breaking news out of the capital city. Just a short time ago, Mayor David Cicilline released a report on last week's tragedy at McGrain Pool. A little boy died days after he was pulled from the water there and his cousin nearly drowned. Now the report just out shows which safety practices were followed and which ones were not. Naka Nuosu is live outside Providence City Hall with more on the breaking details from the mayor's office. Naka. Vince Elizabeth, this is a copy of that report released just moments ago, and Mayor David Cicilline says that he is satisfied that all state regulations were followed. However, the report does highlight some of the things that went wrong. The report from the City of Providence finds that regulations were followed last Monday, but mistakes were made when two cousins nearly drowned at the McGrain Pool. Eight-year-old Gamayel Bosley is now home from the hospital. Her cousin, nine-year-old Jameson Ossiel, died from his injuries. The McGrain Pool is licensed for a maximum 230 people swimming at a time. The police report finds there were at most 70 people in the pool area when the incident occurred. That means only two lifeguards were required according to state law. When the near drowning occurred, there were three guards on duty. All were Red Cross certified and ages 15 and a half, 16 and 17. But City Councilman John J. Lombardi says that isn't old enough. I say when you're dealing with children and senior citizens and anyone utilizing the pool and where there's a public health, safety, and welfare issue, I think more is better. In this the report case. confirms Jameson met the height requirements to swim in the pool, but Gamayel's height is unknown. Neither child knew how to swim, and the report also says only Gamayel was signed in, which is a pool requirement. Jameson was not. Gamayel says she doesn't remember what happened, but says she won't be near a pool anytime soon. Says I only like bubble baths. <laughs> That's it. Now, there are also conflicting reports that one of the lifeguards was wearing headphones at the time of the incident. However, that has not been confirmed. What has been confirmed is that Gamayel's father was turned away from the pool because he wasn't wearing a swimsuit. And authorities do note that that led to the unintended consequence of him dropping them off. Live outside of City Hall with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News.